Hello, my name is Pam Bateson and I'm the CEO and founder at Thrive Partners. And I'd like to share with you today some of the reasons why talent and L&D professionals are coming to work with us and some of the core challenges that they're facing in their organisation. The first big theme that is emerging is the new hybrid way of working. And what I mean by that is that we're never going to go back to five days in the office. A lot of organisations are contemplating just two or three days in the office and trying to work out how they encourage individuals to um, work Monday to Friday and not just Tuesday to Thursday in the office, how they adopt a flexible way of kind of where their workplace is. And also of the people that are going to be working more re remotely and working from home, how do you dial people in and have productive and meaningful com conversations, whether that's when you're running a meeting, when you're reviewing a piece of client work, when you're running a project, how do you keep people connected to one another so that people understand the common purpose, know what the key objectives are, either within their work or the programme or the change that's been initiated and how to connect meaningfully around it. The other topic that organisations are coming to talk to us about is well-being and how to facilitate conversations whether that's by individuals speaking up and expressing truly how they feel either one-to-one -to, -one to their managers or within their team meetings so that people can better support them or um, showing managers how to go beyond how are you and get people to talk further than I'm fine thank you what's the next sentence what's the next question that you should ask what are the triggers and the sensitivities you should become alert to? And how do you inquire into them in a sensitive and meaningful way? As an organisation, of course, managers have a responsibility to role model good well-being for themselves. What can they do to epitomise and demonstrate that they're taking their own health and well-being um, in seriously? What are they doing to promote physical, mental and emotional good health? What are they doing to build and keep profound relationships? And how can they replicate that and show that to their employees in a way that inspires them and gives them permission to sign off, set boundaries and not allow work to permeate every part of their home life? We know that um, you know, the work that we're doing in Thrive is facilitating some deep thinking amongst a lot of our corporates. It's important that we overcome the some of the despair and monotony that's been created within this virtual context of work. It's important that we help um, many of the organisations understand that good, good performance can only happen when people are thriving. We'd love you to come and talk to us. We'd love to share some of the ideas and the approaches that we've been working on and um, we'd welcome the opportunity to chat. Thanks so much.